Hello everyone, welcome to another video and this video it's again a response to your wish from my wish page on my website uh, Nina did have an idea to create a basically cable tray divider and I have some sample file over here so we have a couple of different routes for the cable trays and I did copy paste the same route uh, to two different levels just to show you that uh, the script will work on the multiple levels also we have some um, some cable tray which will go at 45 degrees angle uh, we also have a change of the height and also we will decrease the height on some section just to see if the slider will work uh, okay, over here. So, okay, let's at first show the script and then we will talk about the Dynamo. Here it is. So, when I run the script, I will uh, have user interface. We have a couple of options over here. So, either we will select some portion of cable trays. For example, let's, let's maybe select just cable trays on that first floor. And this selection will automatically isolate just cable trays, so this script will not work for the cable tray fittings. Simply, you can have a lot of different types of the fittings. So, creating a dividers which will be automatically placed will just took uh, a lot of time. So, okay, we will uh, select these cable trays. We will click finish. If you want to select all cable trays in the entire project, you will just click yes over here now uh, you uh, will be also able to choose where do you want to have those dividers so it can be like 30% of the width by default if you not uh, touch any of those um, options over here you will have always those dividers on the middle and let's try that and then we will talk about the position and how to move them from the center so now we have and I have filter in this view uh, which will color those dividers uh, in the red color but those dividers will be uh, in the middle okay and now if we delete those dividers and we run the script again so we will select the second option which need to select all cable trays uh, in entire project uh, now we want to move them uh, for 30% and what that actually mean is if we have some let's say 600 uh, millimeters width of the cable tray basically the dynamo will calculate uh, 600 millimeters for the width over here 30% of the 600 it's uh, 180 so it will move a divider for 180 to one of the sides and let's run the script in that way so it did move all sliders by 30% of if we have 300 over here 30% it's 100 so it moved divider 100 to some side and now if you take a look and you say okay at first I don't want to have 30% maybe 50% it will do the trick that is the one thing and another thing is uh, I want to go uh, on another direction so I don't want to be over here I want to be up here and for example I don't want to be here I want to be over here so okay let's undo this run all cable trays uh, so it's the opposite direction and we will go let's say with 15% so now our dividers are on the opposite side and it is like 15% movement of the width of the cable tray and that is basically the script now I will show you inside the dynamo um, all the nodes uh, I will briefly explain the logic so this is the entire script probably you can optimize the amount of nodes over here uh, on the beginning as always we have all the nodes which are required for the user interface 
so either we will uh, provide an option to the user to select some portion of the cable trays and we want to filter just cable trays or we want to ask the user if he or she wants to use all cable trays in the project what is the direction number one what is the direction number two uh, it cannot be presented uh, at first so you will try if it's okay okay then uh, if it's not okay you will run the script and choose opposite direction and uh, uh, because uh, in the project you will have a variety of the width uh, of the cable trays uh, if you say move all cable tray dividers by 50 millimeters of 100 millimeters uh, it will work for the cable trays which are let's say 400 millimeters but if you have some tiny uh, cable tray width uh, it will not work for those cable trays so that is why I did go with percentage then we will read uh, all uh, all inputs and over here now we need to basically um, see what the user choose if the chooser uh, if the user chose some portion of the cable trays we will go with that if not uh, if the user click on that checkbox for all cable trays then we know that we need to read all elements of category also over here so if the user chose uh, direction number one everything is okay if the user chose uh, direction number two then we need uh, to multiply that distance with a minus uh, vector so we will resolve that over here now we want to filter out uh, all cable trays which are parallel with the z direction and now over here actually we need let's run the script we need to do a lot of things so let's go with yes with let's go with 25 so over here now we have a list of cable trays and we will filter over here uh, cable trays uh, which are not parallel with that direction and we will have a list of uh, cable trays location and also the list of the cable tray elements so now at first where we will uh, place our uh, cable trays dividers uh, because we have uh, the family for the cable tray dividers and the location for the cable tray dividers it's a point uh, from the opposite uh, side we have line for the cable tray we will basically ask for the middle point of each line and then we will place uh, our uh, cable tray dividers on the middle of each cable tray that's the one thing uh, second thing uh, we can ask over here for the length uh, of the of the cable trays and we will set up um, this parameter over here so we will read what is the length of the cable tray it's some value and then we will assign that same value uh, over here also uh, if you remember we did reduce the uh, height of the cable trays and, and some uh, segments so uh, you will need to set up uh, this length parameter but you will also need to set up for this divider this uh, height parameter so if cable tray height is 50 then you should have the same value for the cable tray divider and also what is very important it is important that you have uh, your divider uh, on the bottom of the cable tray so you will also need to set this offset from host that is also important thing so also we can check for example those two elements so you can see that we have divider on this cable tray uh, when you did set the length and the height and also this offset from host parameter you will need to deal with rotation so uh, 
you have for your family instance point as a location so you will need to ask for your family reference basically in order to see uh, what is the current uh, rotation of your elements and then uh, if for some reason you have this direction then you know that you will need to rotate this element to be parallel with the cable tray also this will be a must for uh, 45 degrees segments or any custom angle which you have so you must deal with the rotation so over here we will compare uh, directions for our elements and for uh, cable trays and if cable tray and uh, cable tray dividers uh, are not parallel at first because the majority of the elements will need to be rotated only for 90 degrees we will initially rotate everything uh, which are not uh, which doesn't have the same direction as the cable trays for 90 degrees and then we will compare all other elements which have some custom angle and then those elements uh, we will rotate by that angle so that is how we did deal with rotation this part over here and this part over here now it's basically moving the divider so if we don't want to have divider uh, on the center of the cable tray then uh, we need to uh, say for which percent of the width of the cable tray we want to move uh, this divider and basically we will use curve offset so we have curves which curves well those are the lines from the cable trays we will offset them for which distance for the user uh, specified distance it is a minus if we want uh, direction number one uh, it will be the positive direction if we choose a different direction for those offset uh, lines we need again to have uh, points because we will set uh, the location of the elements with points uh, then you have some points uh, for offset lines uh, but you don't know now because you did perform twice a rotation uh, which point will correspond to the uh, family instance point so you need to to see what is the, the closest point to the family instance point and then eventually you will perform set location and that is like the entire philosophy of uh, this script hopefully it will be uh, useful to somebody thank you for watching bye